Hey guys, Moshe, the Electric Israeli is here and thank you for joining, trying to bring you some distraction from this tough time. So the topic for today is will the Tesla Cybertruck uh, be ready on time and more so uh, how this uh, crisis is going to delay um, uh, deliveries and of the Tesla Model Y. The Tesla Model 3 for that sense also, but especially the Tesla Model Y. So as I can tell you uh, personal uh, testament that my uh, Tesla Model Y is ready to go. It's just stuck in California. Uh, and I spoke to a representative and, you know, they let me know when it's going to be ready uh, to be shipped to the East Coast. So we know that the, the production is stopped completely in the United States. Obviously, there's one place where Tesla makes car and that's in Fremont, California. Uh, they make batteries in, in Nevada and they make solar stuff in uh, Buffalo. The production in Shanghai is continuing, uh, but three to four thousand a week. That's not a lot, but it's still, it still it is going. Uh, but as far as the Cybertruck is concerned, first of all, there's not even a site where it's going to be. I mean, they talk about Oklahoma, Texas, uh, who knows? Anywhere, any state, until that takes place and until that gets built. Now, this is not China. Things get built here a little slower. So with everything on hold and everything on hold, I cannot see in any way, shape or form that the 2021, late 2021 um, uh, deliveries, forget the production and deliveries of uh, the Cybertruck will actually take place. Now, I have to say that from the moment that Tesla introduced the Model Y, a year to the date, they start uh, delivering. So they got so much better. If the Fremont fa factory will reopen tomorrow, they can get going almost right away and catch up with everything. But obviously it's not going to be tomorrow. It's going to be, who knows, in a month, two months, who knows, June, July, who knows. Now, not only that, the supply chain is so under stress and disrupted throughout the world that every component, think about any component, uh, plastic, leather, uh, well, screws, lights, whatever it is that you can think about that a car needs and it comes from overseas or it comes from a place that is shut down and has to be uh, go, get going. I mean, Tesla kit can go it, uh, very quickly, but they rely on supply chain. Supply chain. So that is going to be a very, very difficult. Here's one of my prediction. I think that if the factories are going to reopen, let's say within two months, okay, I'm going to be very, very optimistic within two months. I think eventually Tesla will catch up with Model 3s and Model Ys, which is very important uh, right away. I mean, there are thousands of Model 3s and Model Ss and Model Xs on, on second hand and inventory. You can get those right away. But Model Y, obviously, they produce what they produce, and that's it. The, the factory is shut. So we'll see what happens. Uh, uh, but as far as the Cybertruck is concerned, I mean, they're, until they get a place, until they get going, uh, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. I would be shocked if they can do any kind of production at the end of next year. And also, if they can do any deliveries at the end of next year. You never know. I think two months will be kind of acceptable and manageable to catch up. But more than that, you can start thinking about to 2022. Now, remember, they are going to produce first the uh, tri-motor, the, the higher end, the 69,000 trim, and then uh, dual motor, which is the 49,000, and then single motor, which is uh, 39,000. But I don't believe that the single motor will ever produce. Nobody's going to buy it. And the people who reserve this about 17%. And Tesla is going to find a way not to make it and convince people to just go to the upper trim. That's what they do. They did with the Model 3 and the Model S, 40 kilowatt. And uh, and then the Model Y, the, the, the uh, base model, I don't believe it will ever do. But that's a different topic for a different time. But bottom line, I don't think that this will be uh, done. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, help me change the world one electric car at a time. And I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks.